What's up guys and welcome to today's video. This is basically a recap of 2020 with some of the best moments. Mike has been spending a ton of time going through every single video that we uploaded over the past year to make sure that we have all the best moments because so much happened and I'm thankful that I was able to share the journey with you guys. It's been a wild year and there are so many clips that we had to split this into two parts. So this is part one and then part two will probably be uploaded later this week. It's a long one so either grab some popcorn, chill out, or maybe split it in two sections and finish watching tomorrow but I hope you enjoy it. And I want to know in the comments what your favorite clip from this entire video is. So make sure you tell me. Enjoy. Yeah, that, that was exciting. That, the fact that we just made it through the DMV. So exciting. And we got plates awesome. with no hassle. No hassle. Cheers. Are we taking the new whip? We're taking the new whip. Oh, buddy. I'm pumped. Yo, I just found Jimmy's got an access port in his glove box. Yeah, there's 10. Woo! Jimmy's so nice to his new car. What a nice guy. <laughs> All right, let's go to Mexico. Don't kill me. Well, Z-brake works, that's for sure. <laughs> look, 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 friends. I've been having so much fun driving this car. It's really slow and the tune's not perfect. But look at the scoop. It looks so cool. And the noises, get ready. You ready for this? Jesus Christ. I thought I broke something. But yeah, what are we, what are we going to warm for? Um, we're hoping to find some mud flaps. Some rally armors. So wait, didn't you say that we can use like kitchen cutting board to make that work? Hell yeah, we can. Why don't we just get like a, a get like a, a doggy door? Yeah, IKEA doggy door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is ten dollars for. I told you we had a good idea. Four mud flaps right here, and we'll just like self tap them or something. I guess. Do you get hardware at the shop? One thing that really grinds my gears, you know, when you go to the parking spaces and people leave their shopping cart like that, you never know if it's gonna roll back into your car. Show them how to handle these types of situations, Adam. You're a superhero guy now. You're a man of the people. I can fix that. Uh, let's see. I'll line her up. Give her a good old teeth. There we go. Oh boy. A little bit more. Yeah, the radio yeah. support's done. And oh, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, there tell we your go. friends. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it happen again. Honestly. You guys might need to trim the edges a little bit. Just a little bit. I think that's meant. I mean, that doesn't look that bad. Dude, that looks gangster. Do you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, bro. First sale. <laughs> Hit me up. 80 bucks a set. I've never done one of these before. Oh, is it closed? The thoughts are that if the mud flaps can survive the car wash, they'll be fine on the rally stage. You can put mud flaps and a bunch of stickers on a car. And it's still gonna look kind of stupid. It I, amazing. I, it does, it, it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, let's make the door stickers and all of a sudden I come back from getting parts and the whole thing stickered up and I'm jealous because you use the last of my vinyl. I'm sorry. I think we've made it. I guarantee you he's going to go full sun right off the bat. Look, jump, jump, jump. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, he's ripping. It looks so fun. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. My dad hasn't seen a Subaru yet and he's about to pull down and check it out. I like it. 
Hey, hey, hey. Relax, dude. All I have to do is say go for a uh, she'll pop right over here. She's like, I wanna go, 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 I wanna go. I wanna go. You like Subarus that much, you crazy dog? What are you doing? Get out of here, dog. No. No, 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 no. Out. My three favorites chilling right in here. But I think we're gonna take the Evo. It's been a minute since I've driven right hand drive. Feels good to be home. While I was out working on the Z, look who showed up. What's good? What are you doing in Florida? Uh, coming to make this go fast. We gonna do nines? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, all right, yeah, for sure? Yeah, Guaranteed? Go nine. First try. That sounds like, that sounds like a bad supercharger. It's so loud. All right, let's see your how crazy this thing sounds on the street. It sounds wild. I don't know if you guys can hear that from the video. Loud. Dude, with the little flutter too, like you can kind of hear it surge. Like we're not really even on the gas. When you're on it, it's just like, I want to floor it, but I'm not gonna. There's so little lag too, I was very impressed with it. Today is the night where I'm shooting to go nines in the Supra. For the first time at the track with the Hoosiers. All right, the wheels are on. We're just gonna leave it as it is for the first pass. Then we're gonna log and see if we need to make any changes. Speaking, I believe we are now the third fastest super in the world. I know the car from Puerto Rico, the speedy muffler car, ran like a 990, and then EK over in Bahrain ran like a 999, I think. So, um, almost the third super in the nines, but I think we're still the third fastest super, which is pretty cool considering we're a bunch of drift guys that don't know anything about drag racing. Of course, the second you get here, it starts raining. Of course, I want to die in a slippery car. What do you think about this? Are you excited for this? Dude, I, I want to feel it. I'm curious. I like what, how you've described it. Like, I don't like, like, your skyline where it's like, da, 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 you know, I don't, not that into that. Yeah. I like the, and go. That's what I'm hoping I feel. Let's do it. It's starting to rain, but hopefully we can get a pull in before it does. My seatbelt's tight. No shit handle, so I'll just. What think about how it sounds? Well, it's no longer a nice, luxurious car. This thing sounds intimidating. Oh my god, I felt it. This is an aggressive vehicle. I think you'll get a first second. Good hit. I don't know if it's gonna hook. We'll try. You ready? I'm ready. Oh my god! Dude, we spun a little. You early shifted and still like, jeez. It's right? aggressive. 
Yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> Holy crap. That, this thing rips. I was very impressed with those tires on the Supra, and I have another set of them that I decided to throw on the Z. So, Tommy, you're about to experience potentially the fastest of things ever been on the street. Scary. If it feels right, you can drive it. Feels right. Like, it, if yeah, it. I think it feels right. I think it feels good. <laughs> remember, 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 remember. Every time we go out for a drive, it starts raining, dog. You produce a quart. What? <laughs> What'd you say? I said you produce a quart. Oh. What'd you say? What does I that mean? You produce a quart. <laughs> it's from Step Brothers. Um, he said, every time I, I produce a quart. So every time someone says every time, we say you produce a quart. This is ignorant. I see you driving like this. I can see fine, actually. Sure, sure, sure. Easier than the Super I can see fine unless there's something directly in front of the car. Oh, man. Whoa. Is it pinching it at all, you think? Nah, we're golden. Look at that. Golden. Look at that. Woo! That's sick. Best mod I ever did. So I'm not sure to what extent I've really explained this in any videos yet, but uh, this car is getting driven from Austin, Texas to LA. So with that in mind, uh, I've been putting a lot of time into just going over little things and making sure it has, you know, cool roadworthy things like headlights and a cigarette lighter to charge things. But mainly, I just want to eat tacos, to be honest. It's been a while. I like tacos. And with those words, I say goodbye and I will see you tomorrow. Two goals today. One, I really want to get the Super in the nines, so I'm going to kind of do a pass, let it cool down for like an hour. I got some fans, ice, just get it super cold so the IATs are super low, and hopefully I can break it in the nines with a little bit of extra power. And then also, in between, we're bringing Zeroy and Martin from RS Enthalpies coming to help vlog. We had a few issues with launch control last time. He's going to help dial in, so hopefully we can get that car in the tens too. And then after that, we're going to be doing drift stuff for a while, and it'll probably be a hot minute before we're back at the drag strip, so hopefully we get some good times today. It like didn't hit launch control, then went down, then freaked out. So this time we actually broke the drive shaft right in the middle. Um, it's probably time to upgrade the drive shaft. I know these carbon ones handle a lot of power, but obviously they didn't like that launch. It worked! Yeah. It worked, but the axles are done. Yeah. So here's the thing. I knew that this was coming. I knew that the axles on the Supra were a weak point and I knew that I'd probably break one. So we do have some upgraded axles and we're gonna try to change them in the track and make the record pass tonight. We're either gonna run a 10 or break another drive shaft. Let's find out. Everybody, everybody came up to me and was like, yo, thank God you have a background in drifting. Did that look is like 
ridiculous from the outside of the yes. car felt. I, I, I think the, the traction at 8th mile wasn't very good anyways, because uh -huh. they literally sent the, uh, the traction truck out there. They're okay. putting compound out right now. Y'all want me to drive it back? Yeah, go ahead. I think it might drive, to for real. Oh, we're good. We didn't break anything. Like, there's a giant hole in it, but it still works. Think I should send it? So, Mike is going to be joining us, and he's going to be helping film and edit the whole trip, since there's a lot of driving, a lot of drifting, and a lot of stuff going on. I'm very thankful to have you here. I appreciate it. It'll be a lot of fun, and I think everyone will be stoked on how much better the videos will be, instead of me trying to edit while driving and sleeping. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Don't look back. There he is, we in at Terry Black's. There's a bunch of cool drift cars outside. Yo, Papa Wheelie, dog. Get the burn it. Oh! <laughs> that crazy tall Australian guy stole the last scooter, so I have to go get one. Oh, Give her a rip! Rip, rip! Wow, that thing's cool. This is like an Austin tradition. Whenever we're here, we uh, ride the scooters from Terry Black's to House Park and then go play in the skate park. It's so cool. Bike could be internet famous. Yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the process here? So you just leg. climb over. Leg first or head first? Um, <laughs> oh, leg, leg first. Leg first. You're tiny, you'll be fine. The third person's gonna have a really hard time. <laughs> Mike's got it. It's oh set boy. up for four people, but yeah, not, not five. All right. All right. right. We're ready. When your suspension sucks that bad, you don't want him to do anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. Perfect. Hey, I'll pass. Is there one in here? What? They're already in. Wait, did, did he just yeah, ask if we. <laughs> Like, can you turn this into like a montage? My hair adds like an extra three inches, so the headroom is like. <laughs> Trevor, let's see if you can do this small frame twin disc starting on a hill with a trailer and a 2J Mustang. Not bad. All right, we made it here. One of my favorite places. Come on, baby. There we go. So I guess we're doing a bunch of donuts around everybody.
they so planted? Again, dude, I think uh, there's a hour time change, but right now it's saying we'll get there at 10. That's not too bad. Boy, what's the retail on one of those? Oh, you're gonna call Cal? Yeah. I'm gonna spin, but I'm also gonna win. Somewhere on the Texaco, <laughs> Texaco, Texas, New Mexico border, there's like a whoop section. Mike, I don't know how you just edited through that. Dude, you're a chimp. Yeah. Hey, we're halfway done already, though. You're not wrong. I mean, we we've only got like an hour and a half to go, I think. Look at how insanely dirty these wheels are. They look like they're not even polished anymore. It's been crazy. Son of a bull. Well, unfortunately, every time I come here, you have bad luck, Dan. I think I just have bad luck all the time. I, I, knock on wood, my car feels great. I add a little more toe out to the front and uh, different front tires. It's got plenty of grip. Feels like the perfect power for this track. It looks good. Yeah. You can't stop the copper top. Nope, you're not wrong. So <laughs> We're gonna go back out. I wanna try to do some big entries before we start doing too much tandem stuff and uh, see if I can get this thing a little backwards. It's really hard to do backies on this track though because uh, what you're going into is like a very wide sweeping corner. So uh, it's not like an ideal, like short radius corner. Shredder there, dude. You have to drive with him. We've known we've each other for a while. Yeah, we've driven like so many times. Yeah. Dude, if you haven't caught Hyperdrive on Netflix, this guy is the star of the show. I'm so proud <laughs> Thank of you. Thank you. That's very kind of the, you. The most famous S14 now, probably in the world. Ah, uh, that's, that's a tall right tale. Right there. Right there. Uh, 
Watch the sync laps together. Dude, so many sync laps. I'm I'm in love with this car. I had to. <laughs> I was like kind of bumming on it at like Harris Hill. Okay. But here's. Yeah. So we're uh, so we're exploring. Whoa! Look at what we just found. <laughs> Accidentally, that's someone's house loop. Not a good spot to do burn house loop. Oh, that view. Dude, oh, this is real. Sick. Yo, this view is nuts. There's a there's a horse on a person over there, so we shouldn't go too far. <laughs> or a person on the horse. A person on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> so what, you just got your kids happy meals and now you're trying to throw them all over the place? Now you know what's going on. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Luke is crazy. <laughs> I stalled it in second. Really? Well, not stalled it, it bobbed too hard. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at this gas station. <laughs> this is wild. We are absolutely in the middle of nowhere. I'm actually kind of excited to go inside. There's definitely not gas here. It's a good thing we don't need gas. They sell There's a teepee, dog. They sell horse feed. Yo, I need a photo in front of the teepee. Yo, you see it? Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> Remember on the highway when there were signs that said dust storms next 20 miles? That's yeah, a dust storm. There it is, dude. Remember? Just making sure it works. <laughs> So unfortunately, I think I was the first casualty of Drift Week. Did you, uh, did you get that on video? Yeah. Yeah, so one of the problems is on a skid pad like this, there's no real layout, so no one really knew where they were going. Some people are on scrubs, some people are on grippy tires. Rolling eight deep is a bad recipe. I was real nervous because I hit Matt, and uh, his Corvette is very expensive and very easy to total. Um, luckily, I just hit his wheel, but it did kind of do a number in my door. The damage is kind of isolated to the door, which is good, uh, but it sucks because finding another door is like next to impossible. Not so much bummed about the car like being damaged as much as the fact that now we have to drive without a window. So it'd be really nice if we can get that seal just for leaving the car overnight at hotels, for theft stuff, and obviously heat, rain, all that stuff. I never knew how to do it with a manual car because I can never figure out how to start driving right. and then get out. But the trick is to start it in gear. This would know it worked great last night besides it almost flying off once for keeping the inside of the car at a relatively okay temperature and wind noise not destroying Mike as a passenger. But it has proven very inconvenient for making left turns out of places. So today on our adventure, we are going to Home Depot and I'm going to do my best. And by that, I mean, it's probably going to come out terrible making a plexiglass or Lexan replacement window for this. Hey Mike, remember, remember when we were in another country and you were like walking on the other side? Yeah, remember? <laughs> I just need to 
set up some sort of table or something to cut this. I can almost do it on this. <laughs> <laughs> it works! <laughs> Hell yeah! New adventure, Adam's uh, probably nurse. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> driving with him, believe it or not, as he crashes into us. It wouldn't be the first time. Should we let him in or should we? Wow, that guy was at Netflix. That, yeah, they were. All right, so Fueling's been driving with us and of course Luke and Mesker have been going 95 miles an hour the whole time, legally of course. And Fueling has a fuel cell with no fuel gauge and he ran out of gas. There's a gas station probably within a mile I hope one of them just pushes fielding because it's so close that if they didn't do that it would be ridiculous. I hope I hope we just see fielding go get pushed by. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Come on, Luke, don't let me down. Mike, what'd you do? You put your wine bottle leaning against the door. My wine bottle. So I opened the door and now I got my rose wine all over bottle. My car. God. Not the rosé! Not the rosé, dude. Anything but the rosé. <laughs> so, uh, update. Fielding is getting pushed by Luke. Was Luke pushing you down the highway? Yes. Luke was, he was bump drafting me, just like boom, 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 boom. At like, high speed. A certain speed. Yes. They a were moving speed. at a faster rate. At of highway speed. speed. Alright, so here's the catch though. They don't know that they're going to push him. There they are. How wow. is that possible? He didn't run completely out of gas. Alive! Get on fumes! <laughs> right, so today we're going to the canyons, and uh, I guess it was Chelsea's car broken. Is that why he got that, or did he just want to one up all of us? I don't know. I think he just wanted to do flexing things. Yeah. But no, he. I think he's just worried about getting pulled over in his car. Yeah. Well, he also he wanted to rent a Cayman to chase us on the canyon, and no one would accept his rentals on Turo. Maybe they were like, like looking him up or something. He tried to get a Stingray. Oh, I know. Tried to get Corvettes. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> He's flipping us off right now. And then just so, so he wanted a bit of Maserati. That's a Jag. It just looks like a Maserati. I don't know anything about those cars. Dude, they might as well all be the same thing to me. It's a four-cylinder turbo. Hey, is that a new Supra? <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Fireballs everywhere. That's sick. Dude, imagine we all do cyclones around the you trees with the drone. You think what I'm thinking? I'll follow you. Second.
thought you had this. Hey. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's Austin. Oh, is it? Yeah, look at the title. My cousin. Thanks, guys. My cousin. Okay. Look, he's about You're to spin awesome. out. You're awesome. Bussy, bus, bus, bus. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> You have to like keep all the momentum. We can line up and all start right here. Just like all nose to nose to nose? Like right now, we can just start. I'm down. You want to do that? A roll race? Yeah, but... Yeah, neutral roll like, race. You mean like tail to nose to nose to nose, I right? I mean, we'll just start and see how it goes. All right. Is that what you're saying? Or what are you saying? A rolling race? Yeah. Or neutral? Yeah. All right. Wait, on the uh, third honk, we go? Three honks. Here we go. Ready? Yep. I gotta get a lead on you, dude. Come on. <laughs> I'm running you in the dude, ditch, brother. Really Come on. <laughs> you just run him off. Ah, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look how close he is behind us. Bro, he's touching us. <laughs> it's gotta be the arrow, dude. It's slowing us down. This is literally edge of the sea race right here. <laughs> like, bro, we're going to miles an hour coasting. <laughs> Look, he's passing us! How did this roll so fast? I don't know. It's crazy because one time over braking and like, you just lose all your juice. Yeah. I'm very impressed with this car's handle. <laughs> right? Very impressed. He keeps wanting to lock itself. Let's <laughs> <laughs> gonna grab him. Who's gonna pull you? <laughs> Alright, we're back on the helmet cam game. We're gonna do our first laps at Grange. Get a feel for the track, figure out my pressures, then start doing some tandem. to me. No, I just got him back for what he did. You can't even tell from the outside. No, I, I could tell that when I went to put my quick oh fastener my back God, on. It didn't I know. Me. I'm like, man, that didn't used to be like that. It's not my first this time is, doing it. No, this is the JTX 100 Ebisu trick. Because they don't sell basketballs over there. Yeah. There's very few Japanese basketball players. Just hop in the trunk. Best leverage you can. Yeah, 
So Luke essentially has no ball joint in his rear lower control arms right now. He knows that it's so unsafe that he actually requested that me and Mike take his wife and kids because his car is that dangerous to drive. But he insists on driving with that and flat spotted wire showing fronts because Australia. I love California weather. It's so beautiful. Scooters, electric vehicles, taxes. We were going to rent uh, longboards, like skateboards, but apparently, what happened to him? There's a difference between a longboard surfboard and a longboard skateboard, and I didn't know that. So he reserved like 12 longboard surfboards, which aren't gonna do as much good. You can't surf on the sidewalk unless it's got wheels. Not wrong. We rented skateboards. Yeah. I've never been to a skate park before with so many people just on the side rails watching. There's more people than in a contest. I know. Laugh me. I just ate complete trash. Very dangerous. Look at that. <laughs> 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 uh, oh uh, the tracksuit saved me, honestly. That's a deep hole. Ugh. Stealing! Oh my god, shut up. Stop filming. <laughs> so I'd say this lot's about three times bigger than the last lot. A lot more obstacles though, which is kind of cool. I'm excited. I'm nervous that the JZX is going to get really hot, so I might not be able to do as long of a burnout as I'd want. But uh, the curious thing is going to be, will I fit underneath this thing over here? Not bad. Not bad. Good size. Look who it is. I'm so excited to see your I shop. Heard you're moving to California. That's what I read down in your comments that you're moving. Is that true? It would, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I've been super jaded towards California, but this trip, I think the traffic hasn't been that bad. And now that I have like a cool car to drive around, it's pretty nice. I'd consider it. It's pretty nice. I've wanted this car since I was like a little baby, so to have this is like insane. And we just straight piped it yesterday. Are you gonna start it? He's thinking about it. Yeah, He's thinking about it. We gotta warm up though. Hold on. I have the keys on me. I wanna know the story. How can you guys get away in California with just having like your name on the plate instead of an actual plate? Yeah, so I got impounded. <laughs> His doors go up. That's so cool. <sighs> that 
That sounds wild. It's dude. N A V twelve can't beat that. That does sound really cool. How cool is that? Have you made any videos driving it with a new exhaust yet? No. Oh wow. Not yet. This is unreleased special footage this they just heard. Unreleased started. footage. You're gonna see it before my channel. Some cool cars in this garage. I think the owner of the Airbnb has a Tesla. You guys know whose place we're at. <laughs> this is turning into like the, the day of donuts, huh? Everyone's just like, yo dude, do some donuts, do some donuts. What do you got for tires on this thing? Jeez, guys, I really hope he knows what he's doing. Yeah! Look at the rubber. Look at the rubber. Okay, one, one, one quick hit. Yeah, hey, you got it. One quick hit. Oh, oh. oh my god. Adam LZ, what the f bro? <laughs> I was starting to sh my pants a little bit. Yo! Oh my god, bro! I might have dropped a little kernel. Oh. So these things are really weird to drift, and I told you I don't really drift on. They start to pendulum because Whoa. of the <laughs> I'm starting to sh my pants a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. We're good. We're, We're good, good though. Wow. Right, good morning. Good morning. You're gonna do this again because last night it was too dark. But check this out. From oh, last please. night. Let's take that out. Boom. Oh, there's actually more. There's actually a bunch in there, bro. Just leave it. That's Look, I'm gonna leave that plant in there. There's a little plant. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like. There's plants from last night when he smacked the side of the bush. My mom just got here, and we actually have a meeting in 10 minutes, but um, Adam is going to scare my mom in a drift car. You're very good at scaring moms, aren't you? You're very known for that. Mom, Adam's known for scaring his mom in his car. Did you know that? He has. Those are some of his most viral videos. Really? Yeah, is scaring his mom in drift cars. Seriously, my heart is beating so fast right now. <laughs> it is. It'll be okay. We already had some practice. We good? She had to have been freaking out. <laughs> she had to have been freaking out. <laughs> Holy <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yeah, both. Okay. Both. <laughs> Look. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that the scariest thing you've ever done? I think it was. That and skydiving. That and skydiving. 
skydiving and that. Wow, I could see you screaming. Are you so happy to be out of the car? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, what? is this very calculated? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> He's gonna do a donut. He's gonna do a donut like that. How is that possible? You were worried about doing that, bro? You did that so easily. I've never done it in a small area. <laughs> <laughs> he, he told me, he's like, is it like a big deal if I if I hit the garage? And I was like, I mean, yeah. Like, I'm trying to sell the house. <laughs> a little, little bit more plants inside the car. <laughs> I know these things have instant torque. God, that's wild. Just that I instant hit. It's the instant hit. Everything after that's boring. <laughs> you just like disappear out of frame. Like you get a quick exhaust clip of me revving. Gotcha. Obviously, it's limited to a certain RPM limit, so I can't rev it super high, um, but it'll give you an idea of the sound difference. Once we get that cop, yeah, there you go. It's cop. Yep. Dang, those tips look so ooh, cool. Ooh, ooh. Under, under, under. Oh, it's the scale! Oh, my hands! Pull it out! That's a heavy muffler. To be fair, I think that's a bit lighter than stock, but I'm not sure. So we went from 38 to 8. So we saved 30 pounds. Hey, are you that guy from that news news thing? Florida man. Oh yeah. yeah hey, what's, you want, what are you doing? Yeah, was, I found this place to do oh, things. Oh yeah, I heard it's a Freedom Factory. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Can I hop in? Yeah, go for All it. Right. I take you've done this before. A couple of times. Imagine that with all of our friends. It's way shorter when you're on the track, huh? Oh, I mean it's. Only three-eighths of a mile. My prediction for this thing drifting, I know it's a Z, I know it'll slide well. I'm gonna struggle a little bit with angle, probably turn the power down. The one thing that's gonna make this thing kind of difficult to drift, I've got a lot of grip in the front, so it's it's gonna wanna rotate over the front. If I put like those steelies on it, it would just slide in the front and I could drift it real good. Classic prank on any YouTuber. Ready for this? Dude, hey, I wasn't recording. You gotta do it again. For real? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm down to send it harder. I mean, I'm not gonna go out a second, but I can build a little more. You speed. do you, boo. 
Adam, I'm not zooming in because I don't want to frame the shot bad. Here we go. Oh, he's in the yard. He's in the yard. <laughs> Give her old ripperoni. <laughs> you might send it over the jump. in the bank like a pro look at him go we had this conversation we're like no no drift in the bank keep it safe first pass <laughs> I can't believe you drifted the bang. Dude, I mean, it drives good. It That's honestly sick. is not. I thought it'd be a lot more difficult with the twin turbo setup, but it, like, the power band's really good. Dude, Son of a bitch. You hit it. Where, you, where else did you hit it? I hit it over there. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> dang it. Something I'm happy to use to nailed it. We're One second longer and they would have popped. Oh my gosh, look at this. I know. Look in there. I saw. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Drive with aggression, Mike. Always drive with aggression. Yeah! Woo! I'm such a child, Mike. <laughs> That's what I found here at OSW. Woo -woo! So what are we doing? Give, give them the rundown. What was so, the plan today? Well, I'm in town, uh -huh. and you've obviously came and drove our demo cars at yep. Auto Enthusiast Day a year or so ago. And I was like, why don't you just stop by and take a rip in the real race car? So we have a um, Ford Performance racing motor that is built by Roush Yates. It's 455 cubic inches. It makes about a little over 900 horsepower NA. And then we do about a 300 shot of nitrous. I don't know that you're gonna need nitrous on the infield, but if so, we'll turn it on. Um, it's got a four speed dog box. Uh, we run a Nitto uh, NT555 G2 uh, 315 on the back. And it's got a you know quick change. Uh, we've got all cost, all the suspension is our own custom geometry, all billet arms and all that to give our angle and then uh, achieve the grip levels and the characteristics of the car we want. So, yeah, it weighs uh, 3,000 pounds. Okay. Yeah. And just like you, we run uh, BC coilovers. Um, so you know it, you're gonna get in there and you're gonna feel it and uh, yeah. I definitely uh, wasn't shifting the fastest. I'm not very experienced with dog boxes, so I kind of took it slow, but you'll see the, the other couple laps I started to shift a little bit harder and faster. Um, one really cool thing, if you notice here, watch when I grab the handbrake. It actually adds a little bit of speed to the car. So the way that they're designed, I guess it kind of resets the chassis and the way that it unloads the suspension. And I'm not fully aware of how S550 geometry works, um, but the setup they have in their cars when you grab the handbrake, it almost like speeds the car up and it's really cool.
And so I thought the best way to formally introduce someone new to the channel, not necessarily the most new, but someone new to the team, uh, would be with a customary burnout. So Shulman's been up here uh, pretty much all day. I think he's. What have you? What have you been doing up there? Stupid. I, there's a. Oh. He, he got a steering wheel hub adapter, and he's just been. No, <laughs> it's been real listen. difficult. It's been you're a not, real difficult day. You're not listening. Ever. <laughs> he's a liar. Ah! Get the car, and it's mine. That's it, okay. I got this. This is gonna bring it home. Where you at, Adam? Oh, oh, are you right there? What? Oh yeah, there we go. You got this, you're gonna fly so hard. Woo! Yes. One last thing to complete the look. Link in bio, subscribe, like, comment, merch. Go get it or you'll be left out, boom. I really, really want to mix it up. Oh, what do you think about this one? Sick. It's not the right shade of black. Oh, they're right here. Yeah. They're right here. Rev up your engine, rev up your engine. <laughs> Sick ass disguise, bruh. <laughs> Where's he at? <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I was out in one. <laughs> <laughs> Take it right. <laughs> we got people jumping. We got people jumping. What's up, bro? What's up? Hey. Hey. Go, 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 go
Go, go. Bro, they're coming. They're coming. They're fucking coming. They're fucking They're coming. They're So we let Shulman drive. Hey, so they're, they're filling. God dang it. <laughs> yeah. They kind of went Look at this. Bang. Like we're a mile away from Taco Bell. Whoa, you want to, you got any exercise on you while you're fine. Why don't, can we park over there where all the normal people are? Well, guess what? We're going to park right here. Are you joking? Nice. No. You're joking. No, for real. Oh my god. I'm parking here. Oh my god. Oh my god, remember? There was, we're like, Shulman literally parked in a separate town from Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Fried chicken. Shulman made me walk through the bushes. Shulman, what? what is this? What is this? Bro. I don't think you can get out of there though. No, no way. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> I didn't know. There's such thing as a Taco Bell and a KFC combined. Shows get how often he ever eats. Yeah, 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 he get out. <laughs> that is wild. Do you, know this is? Do you know what this is? Baja Blast. I know oh, what that is. I know what that is. We're good. We're good. But bro, like, I could have gotten chicken. Y'all got me again a gordita. I'd like to bring up something. Does anyone actually like sitting in chairs without backs? What's the purpose? Why would ever anyone choose to sit in a chair without a back? What is the advantage? See, the thing is, there's no answer to this because he's actually right, like always. So. But I'm, I'm genuinely curious, Mike, do you have input? Because no you guys chose this table. There are plenty of tables with chairs with backs. I didn't say anything about this table. I just saw the drinks here. And Johan chose it, so... Maybe Johan. we'll interview him when he gets back. He's yeah. also protecting himself from the yeah. coronavirus, as you can see. Yeah. It, it could be in the... In the, in the <laughs> <laughs> why do you think it's in the... <laughs> so I don't know why. I get the aesthetic that, like, maybe it looks better. Johan, I have a serious question for you. Yeah. Why would anyone ever choose a chair that doesn't have a back? <laughs> What is, what is what is so alluring about it? I don't know. You chose this table. Uh, what, did, what did it speak to you? It was in the middle of the restaurant or something. So it's location. Remember, yeah, we were talking location. about this earlier, Shulman. Location, location, location. location. Remember? 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 <laughs> Bro. Yo. <laughs> That's gotta That's be like sick, dude. 10 more horsepower right there. <laughs> I could okay. I don't want to make fun of it because I probably wouldn't have done a better job. But the, look at the light bar. Yeah. <laughs> is is melting and not in the center. John, make a decision. Now a canned dark pepper, bro. <laughs> John, put it back. Oh, your mom said no. I want it. Mom says no. What you got there, Igby? Well, let me see. You got chips. You got soda. What is it? I want to see. Come on, MB. There it is. What you got? What you got? Popcorn, MB. It's almost midnight. You don't need popcorn. No, you don't. <laughs> what you want? What? Is you want apple? <laughs> you, you want apple? Oh my god. You don't get apple. Buy this shit, man, please. <laughs> no? No? Hmm? MB, which truck's yours? No, that's not yours. Which which is it? Which truck's yours? No, that's not yours. MB. MB. Which truck's yours? No, it's not those. Come on, you're getting warmer. Come on. Which truck? Which truck's yours? Is it this one? No. MB. MB, MB, get back here. MB, MB.
This car is fast. <laughs> Woo! I think that'll probably be one of the slowest cars I drive against. So it's good to know I can do it. It wasn't pretty, but. It took me probably like 20 minutes in the car to convince Shulman that Cracker oh, Barrel God. was good enough. Why? That's Explain fine. to me your problem with Cracker Barrel. I feel old when I go there. So I have this stigma with Cracker Barrel where in my head it's like old people go there and, and it's just gross. Every time I go there, it's a great experience. This is not sponsored by Cracker Barrel. They have a nice store where you can buy nice <laughs> things and the food is good and the service is fast. And look at the parking. You got there and be. Our neighbors decided that we can no longer park here, so I have to start selling cars. So comment below which cars you think I should sell the most. You can for sell now. the JZX100 to me. <laughs> you do like a big body car, I'll give you that. But for now, we're gonna do a quick cold start burnout. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, no, no burnouts tonight. We did that at 5 a.m. the other night. Yep, remember? Uh, <laughs> bro, remember. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully we can get a one piece. Fun for half a corner. Holy moly. This thing makes a lot of smoke. Hey. I hear a noise. Rod knock! Wonder why. Tommy picks up the camera, next thing you know, Rod knock. Yeah, it was my fault. But that's fine, because uh, my JZX is broken, so he's just gonna take the motor out of that, right? Don't let my smile fool you, I'm so sad internally. Apparently we're not having the best luck with cars today. Colette's broken down on the side of the road. Oh, buddy. What happened to your car, dude? Looks like someone made a pretty cool U-turn in the middle of the street. What happened to your car? The tank just spiked. Oh, buddy. Really? Did I break it already? So, you ruptured your coolant hose and your clutch isn't working. Should I turn it off? Yes! Oh my I'm gonna be prepping some stuff on my chaser, and then we're gonna go drive more today. There's a three-day event this weekend, so there's probably gonna be another driving video. Good thing is on the road again. We wrapped some parts off of it for the E36, but it's back.
stuck here for a little while because of the whole coronavirus thing. No, so, show them the one on the other side. Because oh. that is an awful one that could have screwed my door. It's not that yeah, bad. that was not there. This was a little bit more of a hit. But then we have some nice tire marks. So, you know, out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, ten tire marks, there was one bad one that dented it. So, I'm sorry, but. No, it's good though. You, you pushed me to be a better driver, and I was forced to be. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of motivation. I just want to do it good enough so I can do that to your door. She who shall not be named is joining us today. Oh, what? Is there a blur on my face right now? <laughs> no, there actually is. Wow. That's exactly what I was going to wow. do. Hey, if you want me to unblur you out though, just make like a really, really ugly face real quick. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, if you want to be unblurred. Why, you don't want me to talk about your Mustang? Your Mustang that you love so much? It looks like a Mustang. <laughs>
I'm gonna need you to uh, maintain a 10 feet distance from me this whole time. Dude, we have been so serious about today. Did you get talked to right when you got here? No, I didn't. Have you been within six feet of anybody? Of course not. Good. Never. We're taking it super serious. Bro. All right. I'm Check ready. Check it out, brother. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so big, dude. Isn't that sick? That looks wild. Pretty different from last time you were here, eh? I'm so excited to see the cars. These are your rides, dude, so check it out. There's a lot of them, and they all have nitrous, 10-pound nitrous bottle on the roll cage. Wow, I didn't know they got cages. Yep, and then they all have a radio in them, so you can, the race control will be able to talk to you. And they all have transponders on them, so you'll have lap times and live positioning during the broadcast. No way. Yeah, dude, that is epic. We're gonna make a mad dash to the cars and start decorating them and get all our safety equipment all set up. Hey, it came out okay. I ran out of time. I put some of the stickers in the wrong spot. I've definitely underestimated the amount of time that we've had. Uh, whatever. I gotta go get my suit on. I am such an anxious mess. This is like kind of more terrifying than anything. Lead us. I actually think I, so I didn't talk right there so you could hear my throttle. I didn't intentionally spin that car out. I actually lifted when they started going sideways hoping that they would drive out of it, but they were just kind of going slower than my threshold of grip. Um, people were intentionally spinning people out. I didn't want to do that because I would be bummed if someone did it to me, <laughs> Cletus. But um, yeah, they just should have stayed in it and they wouldn't have spun out because I lifted, so. That happened to me quite a few times where I kind of got nudged in back but was able to recover. See, that was a good example of me letting off because I didn't want to spin them out. I could have, but I just needed to get through and they're in my way. There we go. Bye bye. Uh, we're taking a quick break from the E36 content. Uh, there was actually a private rental of one of Titan's customers at OSW today and we were able to squeeze our way in. So we're gonna go with the Supra. Um, it's kind of been in no man's limbo land after the last time we had another drag ship. And I'll explain a little bit more why once we get to the track. Um, but the goal today is to go nines. <laughs> Side note, um, I owe this to one of you guys in the comment section. I never knew that this car had couplers that are here because these are super annoying with a shifter, you're like bashing your coffee and stuff. I would rate these ones back here at like a seven and a half. If this car wasn't slammed, dude, these are some firm holding capacity. Don't fill the cup, bro. So if it spills, I don't want to eat my words. You filming the cup? Filming the cup. Did it spill? We're good. I think the lady next to us spilled her coffee though, remember? <laughs> remember? All right, I'm gonna hit the nitrous way earlier this time and just hope that it works. Let's do it guys. This is the one. Broken record or broken axle? Let's find out. You did it. We got a nine? You did it. No, we didn't. 
If that was a nine, then we're we're going faster. Almost Bro. 140. Nine nine two. <laughs> I saw you. I saw Mike running over the camera, and I was like, that was like a ten oh five maybe. Like <laughs> it wasn't a nine. Like you just know when you hit a nine, you know. <laughs> Skirt. Ethan encouraged me uh, with a very cool camera angle in car that you guys already saw, and we got a little too saucy. A little bit. We beached it. It's pretty stuck. So my goal is, um, he gets out of work I think in maybe like two or three hours. I want to try to get the radiator done and I want to try to get the fueling done on the car. That way when he comes over we can work on the pedal assemblies, we need to do throttle cable, clutch, and then put the drive shaft in and like, my goal today, I want to see Navo's car do a burnout. So I don't know if that's a little bit of a stretch with me and Navo's mechanical ability, but we're going to do our best. Fine. Start it. You get red, man. This is huge, guys. <laughs> Yo, that is not first gear. And there, Colette, there's no clutch, no brakes. The steering, everything is loose. The exhaust is in the cabin. Welcome to Florida. That was awful. Why? Why? Why are you guys continuing to try to do something? Just for the record, saying this is not the best idea you guys it have ever had. It's a fun idea. I'm yeah, it's super fun. I mean... I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. 
That was it. That oh was it. Game my up. gosh. <laughs> this car is barely alive to begin with. <laughs> Limping out of the garage and this is the first thing they do. I think I see her and I don't know how she pulled this off. You gotta be kidding me. What? Is this actually yours? Yeah. You're joking. Get out of here. You're joking. I just had the most stressful situation in my life. I'm gonna collect. I'm assuming she's gonna make some video pranking Anna Melzi or something, and she'll give you guys a full run around. I am in the car having a heart attack because I'm sitting here and I know Evos and I know how rare left-hand drive Evo is. And what's going through my head is that's not an Evo cluster. It's missing the intercooler sprayer. It sounds like there's no turbo, and I'm like, did someone sell her a Mirage conversion? At first I thought maybe it was a proper conversion with a floor pan cut out and everything, and I was just getting stressed out because I got worried that someone took advantage of her, and I, that was just torturous. And then, and then like, I, we, went, we pulled over because she had to go to the bathroom and get food because she's a human and we needed, I was like, dude, you just got to pop the hood. Like, I, she wanted to film this video, you like, showing me so her new six. You were getting so stressed out. It was, but it slowly crept in because in the front, it was perfect. And, or like, from the outside, you know, you'd think that's sick, it's Evo 6. And I'd already been kind of looking for one, so it was believable. And then when you sit and you start getting more and more stressed, like, I saw the panic on your face and I was just trying to watch you process everything because I was like, oh, I just got an Evo 6, it was such a good deal. I like, I scored big and it's amazing, it's my dream car and yeah. Ooh, I see it. In this bay right here. Another Evo, but not just any Evo. This is an Evo six and a half Tommy Mackin edition. But not just any Tommy Mackin edition. Come over here. This is the six and a half TME RS. Super, super, super rare. The fact that this car is even in the States is beyond me. And not only that, it was actually legally imported as a race car. So if you look, it's already fully caged. And if you guys remember, I've been kind of getting sketched out in my Evo because it doesn't have a cage and uh, I really want to take my driving farther, but I don't want to ruin that car. And this is going to be perfect. It's an already caged Evo, but not only just any Evo, a six and a half TME RS, like as rare as it gets. It was about a 10 minute, 15 minute drive to go visit none other than the man himself, Rob Dom. He's been giving me some uh, lessons on the rotary world and we've been chatting for a bit, but he was just asking if I wanted to start it. And I'm curious how far away I'll need to put my camera to see if it's going to max out the audio. <laughs> Don't worry, that won't make the video either. Stop it. Don't worry, I'll, try, I'll cut that out. Good. Cut. Cut it out. Cut the People clip. can't know. They can't know what you just said. Oh my god, you're just asking for it. God. Just constantly making up beef and drama. I'm yeah. done with it.
Hey, guess what? Nothing's open. The bathrooms aren't open again. Even your bathrooms. Do standing start. You won't. Standing start. You won't do it right here. No, I don't want to because yes. if we break on the mountain, you're not going to be, be happy with it, me. Though. No. It's fine. Trace is nearby. I'll call Trace. Be like, yo. No, because we're then stranded. he needs to come up with a trailer. You realize that, right? Yeah, but we'll figure it out. I think you should just do a standing start, like a little one, just like a little like, bah, 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 you know, just a little tiny one. <sighs> you did it at the track. It was just fine. And look, this is like the best angle. We'll see you drive off into the distance. It'll be so cinematic. If maybe if there's no one around, I will consider it. But there's like nice people eating lunch over there, and I don't want to upset them no, with my done. Everyone's hiking. Evo. All right, let's take some photos, and then we'll, we'll talk about this later. Stress me out. Also, that's how you know she's a racer girl, because anybody else would be like, launch it, launch it, use launch control, two-step. And she's like, can you do a standing start? If you did. No, that's, it's cool. I'm admiring you. Like, and it doesn't. Third year is like, wait, I'm still here. 
gear. You might start to break the other gears. Yeah. It sounds like there's a lot of gear in the other gears. That was fun. So we're here. What do you think of the truck, dude? Dude, I love third Now gear. I have to fix that it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm regretting yeah. not checking the oil filter first. The dealer was the last place to touch it. And I physically have a thought this morning, maybe I should put a hand on the oil filter and just double check it. It seems like the same thing that happened last time, the oscillations from the flat plane vibrated the oil filter loose. She lost oil, power caught fire. Luckily she's okay. I'm sorry, Colette. Oh I'm just trying to think if, uh, uh, it's hard to tell like chassis damage wise, it might make a good drift car. Yeah, maybe. That's crazy, huh? It's, it's written off. It's all that plastic just catches on fire. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely totaled for sure. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just thinking buying it back from the auction, maybe making it into a drift car. All right, so any second now, a truck is going to arrive with another GT350. I've been speaking with a bunch of different places, specifically the parts farm that specializes in parting out these things. And it's just so difficult to get all the little items that we need. So I actually negotiated and bought an entire GT350 from them that was in a front right rack. I'll be so pumped if this thing runs. Am I doing the arm starting it? Sure. If I start it, I swear to God, if something happens, it's not my fault. Wow. It's on camera. Yep. It's your boy, your fault. Does it have power? I mean, we got the jump box, if not. Ready? Ready? Uh, oh. Yo! <laughs> she runs, brother! I'm louder than yours. Right. Happy birthday, showman! Oh, wow! <laughs> So excited, it's here, it's here. 
Dominic just dropped it off and it is 1.30 in the morning. It's taking everything in me right now to not start mocking this thing up in the stang. All right guys, welcome to today's video. As you see by the uh, title, it is pretty exciting times and I have to be fully transparent with you. Before we actually pull the engine in the Mustang, we kind of had a plan to do this. I kind of may have already had the engine on the way. But this GT350 right here is gonna be the proud home of a Barra. I've got uh, my trash clothes on today because we are going over to Randy's and we're gonna go lay down some color on the engine bay of the GT350. All right, so this is one coat. That is kind of cool. It almost, it's very, very, very subtle because yeah. it's so fine. I am curious though, if we like spray a second coat on to see how much more wild it would get. All right, two coats is definitely starting to look a little more pink, but yo, dude, the way it flops though is kind of wild because <laughs> it's like nothing and then. Crazy. I'm down to do two coats. What do you think? Yeah, I think they're both like that. Hell yeah. So are we getting it smooth or are we just kind of scuffing it? Scuff it just so that we'll, you know, uh, and the paint will lay down smooth? Yeah. Got it. Alright, so I can say a fish. Wow, my, I got a crazy thing going on in my hair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, officially the first thing that I, I somewhat painted, I let Randy do the final uh, layer of clear just because I was really scared of striping it because we had to go crazy with the pearl. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell on camera, but it's super, super subtle. I think it's one of those things that you'll only be able to tell in very certain lighting, but it, uh, it's cool. How'd I do for my uh, first time? Dude, got an A. So I don't think I give you guys a proper shot of it in the sun and it's really hard to tell on camera, but it does have just the ever so slightest pink hue to it. Well, you said it's actually red pearl or a little bit of clay gray, but it looks pink. Randy told me it was red pearl, but to be honest, it kind of looks pink and I kind of feel like you guys played a trick on me or something. <laughs> yeah. That, that's something Randy Definitely. would do. You guys remember when I had the bronze tees on my Supra that someone may have messed up? I'm not gonna name any names on it. Freddie has them now on his Supra that's wrapped orange. Look how good his car looks. That's wrapped? Yeah. Oh wow. It looks awesome. That is a... Oh, if you guys don't remember Freddie, uh -huh. you said you're very familiar with EC Master and you like it? Yeah, it's my favorite computer by far. So that, uh, that works very well for us because this is such a finicky car. So I wanna hear your hypothesis on what this car is gonna do. I know my guess. Power? But yeah. Mm -hmm. I have no experience with the G Series Turbo, but going based off of what the Super made, yeah, probably mid to high sixes and low 600 torque. Oh, that's the water, bro. From the intake manifold. It's water. Oh my god, it just started oh. all flowing out. What? Oh, did the shifter fall out? Yeah. That happens sometimes. <laughs> 707. 710. 710. 710. Nice. Oh, yeah. That is wild. No drift does. That's a weapon. Wait, whatever's in here, I get to keep? Yeah. Yeah. It's mine? Yeah, forever. Okay. <laughs> 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 so so <laughs> Send it back. <laughs> <laughs> back. <laughs> Alright guys, so this right here, behold your eyes, is the new shop. Look at it. So like I said, this is just gonna be kind of like a storage facility for cars and we're gonna beautify this place. But unfortunately, the first thing we need to do, there's these nice offices built out, but with measurements, in order to get two cars here, it would be really annoying, we'd have to use dollies every time. 
because of the fact that this is here. But if we take this down, it will be enough to be able to drive in and get two cars in here. So I can park two cars here, three cars here, and then maybe I kind of want to take some measurements and see if I could do like a four post two car lift back here. <laughs> How, how's that working out for you? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? oh gosh. Let's go again. Wow. Go again. Yeah, we do it one more time because it, the whole thing dented in. Oh! <laughs> that did not feel good. Ah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Wait! Okay. Wait, ready? Yeah. No! Oh, now no, we're throwing! <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, what are you doing? You're running over the landlord's trash can. Why would you do that? Oh, great. That's a way to Oh. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Yo, last time, last time his mom took away his vape pen, he did the same thing. <laughs> are you going? You sure this is a good idea, showman? Sure. We're professional. Slow or like what? I don't know. <laughs> I did so much. Now we'll just loop it over the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. But it, uh, it didn't turn out to be that that bad, so probably three or four hours, and we've gotten 90% of it cleared out to where now you guys can, can kind of get a better idea of the space in here. Which is a reminder, it's going to be mostly stored, so nothing too fancy. But I would really like to put like a four post two car lift here just to be able to store more stuff. And that does it for the first half of the best of 2020 video. So this is pretty much all the stuff that happened between January and the end of May. I just realized that that's not technically halfway through the year. So I guess it's not exactly a halfway split on the video, but in the beginning of the year, I was pretty much daily. So there was a lot to go through. And this one will probably have a lot more meat to it than the second one because I switched to every other day, which pretty much transformed my life and gave me so much more time to focus on stuff. Mike wound up coming in the picture full time, which took a ton off my plate and let me really work on the brand and uh, live a healthier life. So um, it'll be interesting to see the difference with part two of the best of 2020 videos because that was a huge thing for me and I don't know if it'll be evident by the clips, but either way, I hope you really enjoyed the first half of this video. It's a daunting task to go through all the videos of 2020, so I'm super appreciative that Mike's been able to do it. It's something that I'm never able to sit down and fully do and uh, I appreciate it. I hope you guys do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Part two should be up later this week. Thank you. When you say oh, no.